He hasn't come first yet, have you? You've been close, but you've also had a few crashes, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Only one this time. Only one this time, but you had a few yeah, last time. Yeah. Are you gonna you know, Are you gonna ride bikes when you're older, or are you gonna stop now? I don't know what that means. You have to tell the camera. <laughs> I won't stop. You won't right. stop. How big are you gonna be? Are you gonna ride? Nineteen. You gonna ride petrol bikes? Mm -hmm. I know and petrol and oil and electric. Okay. So that's all in one bike. Do you know what noisy pet? What noise does a Honda make? <laughs> and do you like watching motocross? Yeah. And do you like Tommy Sell and Billy Bob? You like Tommy Sell and <laughs> Billy Bob, don't you? He met Tommy Sell stuff. And you went really shy. And he got really shy on talks for I didn't do motocross when I was a kid because well, it was expensive. Um, I used to actually if I was in trouble at school I got sent to the library. I would look at motocross no, books in books. No, he did he um, and then on that when we got older, yeah. life was changing. And you wanted, I wanted a hobby um, that wasn't the pub. I didn't want to go to the pub and waste all our money on drinking and stuff. And I was trying to think of a hobby to do and nothing really took my fancy apart from motocross. I'd wanted to race motocross since I was a kid. So I bought a bike, rang my friend who I hadn't seen for a long time, who I knew used to ride, and said, I've just bought a bike. And by complete coincidence, he was like, I've just bought a new one too. He had a van, um, so he took us out, and we just started from there really. Brilliant hobby to be honest. Lots of crashes, lots of pain, lots of trips to the hospital, um, lots of money, but brilliant. Probably the best thing in the world to do, mm. best sport in the world. But I've just decided recently, not long ago, a month ago with that, to sell my bike and buy rivers with the money. So I part X mining and I think it's time for me to hang up my old boots and uh, River can do focus on him really. So we travel around a lot so mm. it's kind of hard to do my racing and his racing. He was brought up at a motocross track um, for me riding so he was tiny wasn't he? Yeah. Um, when he first came when he was about a month old. He literally he? was tiny. Um, but it's a very family orientated sport. There's, you know, everyone's there with their families, um, whether it's their son riding or their husband riding. So him and his sister grew up there. It was just like it was meant to be, wasn't it, really? He loved the bikes instantly. He wasn't upset by the noise or the cold or anything. He just, just really enjoyed it and would ask to go. As he got older, things just progressed from push bike to electric bike to motorbike. And the rest was history, really. It's just where he's at now. He will carry it on. He is the new generation of these electric riders, so, so no, there's no, there's no adult riders that grew up electric riders. I think the electric bikes will take over. Um, there will just be a place for everything. I don't think combustion engines will go away. <coughs> he likes electric bikes. We like electric bikes. I think he'll carry on. I think he'll end up being a professional. It sounds really scary, and you do think you're going to be terrified watching, but it's really nice to watch. And you just, you just feel really proud all the time watching him. First race, you feel like really nervous, but then once he's gone around like twice, like you're okay then, you know that like he can go around, he's safe. It was to me, it is down to him. If he, if he does, we'd be like, okay. And then maybe after like a month or so, we'd be like, are you sure you want to quit? Like, do you, you know, are you, but we'd never push him to do it if he didn't want to, there's no. Once it stops being fun, we're out. We will support him no matter what. It's literally like the most perfect track you've ever seen.